Hello, my old school soul food fans, family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video here. Hey, if y'all been following me this month on my Facebook and Instagram and even Twitter, I've been sharing a lot of stories of growing up and how I've become how I am now and throughout the year from a little boy to teenage and to even high school days. That's about as far as I went so far. But today I'm going to be sharing uh, item with you when I first started working in the restaurant at 16 years old. Uh, old school fried shrimp. I'm going to do it the way we did it. I'm going to do some homemade uh, cocktail sauce also. Okay, let's get started here. I got fresh shrimp here. I started peeling some. I, I'm lucky I'm blessed enough to live near the Gulf of Mexico. Well, I buy shrimp. I go a couple of times a month, maybe once a month, and buy like 20 pounds at a time, fresh off the boat. And then I'll, you know, I'll freeze them in water and throw them out as I need them. These happen to be fresh. I haven't froze these. I got these a couple of days ago. The head is still on it. So all I'm gonna do, I'll clean these. What I do, I pop the head off. And uh, I peel them. And I like to leave the tail on them. I like the presentation. So I'll take the, what I do, I take that fork first, two joints off, leave the tail on it. Then I'll, uh, hold on, find my knife here. Then I'll cut that, cut it open like butterfly, and I'll rinse the vein out of it. A little black vein, rinse it off. I'll do the other one here. Get it down the middle, you see that little vein right there? I'll take that off, rinse that off into the water. And that's it. I used to do these by the growing up, like I say, I'll move this out the way by the pounds and pounds full growing up as a kid. Okay, now the next thing I'm gonna do here, let me turn my fry oil up. You gotta do it in the deep fry, but I'm not doing that many, many shrimp, so uh, I'm gonna uh, do it in the skillet here. Okay, in here I got a, uh, first thing I'm gonna do, hold on just a second. Got that. I have to season my, have to season my, uh, shrimp up. So I'm going to put uh, salt and pepper in here. Y'all know I use kosher salt and white pepper. Y'all know that's my seasoning of choice there. White pepper and uh, a little bit more in there. You kind of season it really good because when you put it in the egg wash, some of the seasoning is going to come off. So you got to really season it good. Okay. Now, like I say, in this bowl, I got an egg and milk. I use like one egg and uh, I got the recipe, of course, on the description in that video. I use more egg than milk. So I got uh, about uh, one egg and probably about a fourth a cup of milk. Okay, this is the season I grew up using uh, cracker meal, which I do sometimes, but if I don't use cracker meal, which I don't have that time, I use the Louisiana fry, classic fry. Not the fish fry, but the classic fry. This is like Use it for this is good for dual purposes, not only catfish. You'll see some that say this catfish. This is for dual fry, and I use the unseasoned one where I can control the seasoning that I use. So I'll put the picture of this online too on the recipe. Okay, put that in the bowl here. Now, what I do here, I try to be very artistic with this. Usually, I do the shake method, but with this, I don't. I'm gonna just do the regular breading method. And I want the tail to be spread open when I fry it. So I'll mash it down, make sure it's wide open the butterfly. See how it looks? Actually butterfly. And I never let the uh, tail touch the oil. Another one in there. Like I say, I don't use the shake in the back box method for this. Another one in there. Let's see what I'm doing. See? Very simple. Everything most is like presentation when you're cooking. Another one in there. See, like I say, I, I open them up, push down, make sure the butterfly stay open. That's the presentation you want. 
See how that is? You got all the breading everywhere inside the shrimp. Then put one more in here. And another thing, you don't want to overcrowd you when you're doing it in the skillet. A lot of people don't have deep fryers. So they have to use a skillet. That's why I'm actually using a skillet. And you know, as I know, shrimp don't take that long. Take about a minute and a half, two minutes. You definitely don't want to overcook them. Okay. And while I'm cooking that, I'm going to do two things at one time here. I'm going to make my uh, tartar sauce. This is so easy. Not tartar sauce, I'm sorry, cocktail sauce. All it is is three things. Ketchup, horseradish, and lemon juice. That's all I put in mine. Fresh squeezed lemon juice. Okay. Put about a cup of ketchup in here. About a cup I'm gonna put. Some horseradish, spicy stuff is very spicy, so if you like your spice, you can put more or less. That's about all I can handle there. And a little lemon juice there. And that's it. Stir it up. It'll cook for me. That's it. You got cocktail sauce. Just that quick. That's all it is. Very simple. You can put a little Worcestershire sauce in it if you want to. But that's all I can handle. Pull that up in a little bowl there. Okay, we got that ready. Watch our shrimp here. Shrimp is coming along really good. Let me cook a little bit more. We're going to take them out and we're going to put some more in. How the nice tails is there. I love the way the presentation is. You'll kind of see it when I after I plate it up here. This actually don't take long at all. Oh yeah, these are ready. And I'm putting them over here, which you probably can't see, but you'll see later on a little paper towel on the plate. But you'll see later here when I plate it up. Yeah, these are nice and crispy. That's what you want. Nice and crispy golden brown shrimp. Okay, now we're going to do one more batch, next batch here. Y'all remember how I did the other one? Push it down. Make sure the flat is flattened out. Add it to the oil. Open them up. Make sure it's open up. Or you'll see they'll set up when you do it like that. They won't turn over. Just like you get them in a the restaurant. You wonder how they get them all pretty? That's how. They hand bread them. They don't just throw them in the meal or however they bread it in. I'm very popular today, man. I'm not fried shrimp. You know, everybody in the neighborhood is going to come over tonight. But I got a crew to feed, so it ain't going to be like that. I don't have that much shrimp to be feeding everybody. Like I said, it's very simple. You can use frozen shrimp too. You can use shrimp that don't have the tail on it. But I just like the presentation and it just eats better when you pick it up and hold it by the tail. Okay, that's that. See how easy that was? Just away. Nothing like this. It's nothing like the smell of fresh gulf shrimp. You can just smell the ocean in the water, in the, in the air, in the shrimp. And these was like a 1620 or 2125. That's what I use for fry. Sometimes you get them so too big, much bigger that it's a tough shrimp. So I try to use a 1620s or a, a, a 2125. That's about as big and small as I go here. I'm gonna move these over here. These don't take long. But like I was telling y'all, <clears throat> if you read my paper, 
Let me move these over so y'all can see the ones I've done. See how pretty those are? Nice and crispy. That when I was growing up as a kid, this is what I did. I worked in a restaurant that served mainly seafood. So I learned how to cook shrimp, peel shrimp, fresh shrimp with my pretty much eyes closed. We used to, we used to serve hundreds of orders of this a week. Just like, I thought I was going to hate shrimp growing up, but I still love shrimp. Who doesn't like shrimp? I like them boiled, sauteed, but the best way is like this, fried. Very simple, very easy. And it doesn't take long. You come in, at, I mean, home from dinner, come here home from work and make you some fried shrimp, have you some shrimp thawed out, you see how easy and quick I cleaned them? Okay, these are ready. Put them here on the... Turn the fire off. It's a nice, see how golden brown, nice and pretty. That's what you want. And that's why I don't like to put the tails in the in the uh, breading. But they stand up, see that? Okay, let me plate this up here, put them around the plate. Just like you get them at your favorite seafood restaurant. Which is pretty much Papa Do's around here. I love me some Papa Do's. I don't know if you have Papa Do's where y'all are from, but can't go wrong with it. There we go. How's that for a meal? Okay, I'm gonna let these cool for just a second, and I'm gonna be right back, and we're gonna try one of these shrimp. And I'm going to tell you how they taste, so I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay, like I say, this is so good. This is so good. So so tender. See how tender those strip is? Look at that. Mmm, 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 mmm. Crispy. Tender look. Look how we pop up. That means I didn't overcook them. They're too tough, they're gonna break like that. And when you get fresh shrimp, they do that. This is so good. Mm, mm, mm. Who doesn't like fried shrimp? I didn't like the tail, tail part. Mm. Wow. See that, see how pretty the tails are? We can just pick them up by the tail. That's why I like to present it. But anyway, Tyler's recipe is online now. Please comment. Please share. Please give this thumbs up. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day.